Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rick here. I just wanted to give you all a quick update on the uh, home server build. As you can see, I have installed the motherboard and the hard drives and the power supply. And this case is becoming more of a pain than I expected it to be as far as uh, wiring everything up. And I know that I said that I wasn't really going to worry about cable management, but honestly I'm one of those people that even if I'm not going to be able to see the inside of the case, so nor is not anybody else, I just want it to look nice. And I just kind of, so far I've routed the USB and the HD audio in the front, and that actually came out nice. Um, but as far as all the power supply cables themselves, it's going to be a mess just because as you can see I mounted the power supply and I can let's get a little closer up here I mounted the power supply uh, and the orientation as you can see for the main fact that these things right here these are the little power supply rests and on my half 912 which this is where these are gonna go I actually ripped these off because uh, it's so tight under this little lip right here that I can't have the power supply flip the other way and being that the bottom of the case is so low to the ground this case is going to sit uh, on the floor and so that's basically not going to give the fan any room to intake air so I got the fan flipped up this way which is making cabling a little bit more of a pain than what I expected as you can see here I've routed the 24 pin well, temporarily at least. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, and I still do have the stock cooler on the uh, E4500. Probably just going to keep the stock cooler because honestly, um, I had to remove the top fans because there is not much room. It's probably kind of hard for you guys to see that, but um, yeah, there's not much room. I actually pulled all of the fans out of the case except for the front fan because uh, well it just wasn't working right for me so I uh, took them all out and I'm probably gonna just install them after I get all this stuff wired up but I mean this case I mean it looks nice and in theory everything should work out great but it's just not working out the way that I wanted it to and here I'll flip this around the back way Now you can see here, the front HD audio and the USB cables, those came out really nice. You know, I like the way those go, they flow really nice. Uh, I'm not using zip ties, I'm just using these, uh, um, you know, wire ties. Just a little twist tie type deals, because honestly it doesn't really matter too much to me and I'll probably end up switching it around a few times before I get it right. But that came out nice, um, and I do have enough clearance because like I said that side panel will bow out a little bit so it'll give room for these right here to uh, flatten out that came out and so the only thing really I have left to do on this back side is these all these uh, front panel wires here those need to be done and then the SATA power and data cables which what I'm thinking about doing is turn this back around this way oh, I do like this table though because these plastic feet slide around quite nicely on it uh, what I'm thinking about doing with all these cables here is as I have this cable going up here there is one of these uh, tie downs here that's actually facing uh, the front of the case here and what I'm going to do is, uh, you guys can't even see that, can you? Sorry. Um, and what I'm thinking about doing is having all the cables zip tied together and I'm going to route them up here and then I'll have them feed through right here because there's no room for me to feed these cables and with the way I got the power supply in here, um, there's just no way for me to um, have them go through here and still actually have room because, I mean, even these thin cables here, it's barely going to fit and I don't have enough room to you know have them all flat running back there and it's just it's just not going to work out right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them all pretty much kind of zip tied together I'm going to have them route up here and then I'll have them go through this opening here and then let's 
switch this back around to the back, they will come out here, and then what I'm going to do is tie them all up pretty much in this area, the ones that I can, and I'll have more that'll go down uh, to the bottom of the hard drive cage there. And then I'll have like my power and stuff here, and then I'll have to feed one back up. And I might be able to run that actually through here, then across, and then up and out here, maybe for the optical drive. But I'm really not too worried about that, honestly. Like I said, the cable management isn't going to come out great, but as long as I can uh, get these tucked back in here. I actually, I have all my storage drives installed right now. So, switch this around one more time. So like I said, as long as I can get uh, these cables, you know, together and then have them right out the back, should be good enough. And, um, you know, that's about it, really. There's not much I can really go off of here. Um, and like I said, I was going to run the HRO2 in here, but I'm thinking about just keeping the stock cooler on here. Because honestly, it's going to be a really tight fit, and it's already hard enough to get this top screw up here to go in with the HRO2 installed. I actually had to turn it sideways, which didn't really work out too well. Um, but yeah, so it's coming together, guys. It's uh, pretty much, you know, it's kind of a slow build, but it's kind of just something I'm doing you know in the little bit of off time that I have between making my regular videos working my 40 hour job answering all the questions I get dealing with you know all the other issues my girlfriend which that's not an issue but you know hanging out with her try to spend as much time as I can with her and all that so I will try to get this all done and of course you know I'll make a video showing you guys and um if you guys have any comments or tips or anything, let me know. Uh, you know, be sure to do that, you guys. And I um, just want to say once again, thank you to all of my great subscribers. You guys are wonderful. And if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have been on YouTube for the last, uh, what, four or five years now. It's going on. Computer Tech TV has only been around for a little more than a year, but my um, original personal channel has been around for probably a good four years, almost five years now. So... That about wraps it up, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, write this video. And if you this is your first video you're watching, please subscribe. Check out my other videos. See if you like them. And uh, you guys all have a great day. Lots more videos to come.